In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cleaning your data easier by automatically highlighting values that do not match the values from a master data set. In this case, with athlete names, I have a master athlete roster, and when one of the values in my data set does not equal the values from the athlete roster, it will automatically highlight in red. This signifies to me that something is wrong with that value and it needs to be changed. This is going to be really powerful to help you automatically organize and clean your data to make sure that all of your calculations get performed correctly. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in this video we're going to be trying to highlight out any data that does not match our master athlete roster. So to give you an idea what this looks like, I have an athlete roster here which has all of my athletes as well as their positions. And then I have a master data set where I have all of these athletes and every time they've completed a test on a date, we've given them a score for three different metrics. But sometimes if you have multiple people working in your data set, you can get to a situation where, um, for example, Amanda Murphy might be spelled incorrectly and it just might be Amanda Murph um, or something like that where um, different names are um, spelled differently or you're using short forms or some or last name first name or whatever else so this is problematic because when we start to do our calculations we need all of our values to match so that every time I want to match for um, Sean Campbell it's going to make sure that it pulls out all of Sean Campbell's results and compares them back to the master results so the best way to take care of this is to have a master athlete roster and then be pulling all of your names from that athlete roster. And then as names change, you can either take them in or out of that roster. But what can sometimes happen is the, the names don't actually match the roster. So we're gonna do a quick check um, using some formatting to highlight any names that don't actually match the roster. So the first thing that we're gonna do is write a formula that basically checks to see if there is a match um, in the athlete roster or if the cell is blank. And if it is, um, if there is a match or the cell is blank, then we're gonna return the value of true. Otherwise, we're gonna return the value of false. So what this is going to look like is the first thing we're gonna look for is a match. So I'm just gonna do this off to the side under the column H. And what this might look like is equals match. And if I open this up, I might wanna look for A2 in this case and I might wanna look for it in the athlete roster um, column. So athlete roster, basically A2 to A2. And um, I'm gonna add a false in there for the search. So you can see now that this gives me a value of one, okay? And basically um, what this means is, is that in the first row of the athlete roster, we can find Juan Campbell or sorry, Coleman. But if I were to delete some um, values here, you can see that this is going to give me an actual error value, okay? So that's important to know, is that it's going to give us that error value. So the next layer to this is to actually check to see whether it's an error, and if it is, then I want to give it um, a value of zero. So what I'm gonna do here is take this match formula, and I'm just gonna wrap this in an if error, so I'm gonna type if error, and I'm gonna open this up. So if it is an error, then what I want it to do at the end is comma zero, I want it to give a value of zero. So now when we have that error, you can see that it's just going to give me a value of zero. Whoops. And I will put um, Juan's name back in there, and now we go back to our value of one. Now. The last thing that I want to check for is if the value is blank, okay? So what I'm going to do is um, add another clause to this um, and say, and use an and function. And the and function is gonna allow me to check for multiple things at the same time. So I'm gonna type and, open this up. So and the first condition is if this whole thing equals zero, then it's gonna give me um, a value of false, or if A2 does not equal blank, it's gonna give me a value of false. And when I hit enter, 
you can see now that I'm getting a value of false, but if I change this, it's gonna give me a value of true. So basically what this formula is doing is saying, um, if there's no match, then give me a value of, or sorry, if there's no match and the cell's not blank, then give me a value of true. And this is gonna be important because when we go to do our formatting trick, we're gonna turn it on when the value is true and turn it off when the value is false. So let's just put Coleman back in there. And if we'd applied this to a range and I dragged this down, you can see that we get false, false, true, false, true, false, 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 et cetera, all the way down, right? So these are all, um, these all don't match sort of what we're looking for, okay? Now, the only reason that these ones down here are kind of moving around is because we've actually um, changing the athlete roster and we would have to lock these in. So I can just lock those in quickly with sort of an F4. And when I hit enter, if I drag this down, you'll see a lot of those trues kind of disappear. So just now the, the true um, changes to this. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is because we're gonna use this in an actual um, conditional formatting formula, I'm gonna take this athlete roster and wrap it in an indirect. And this just allows me to use this same range, but I'm going to be able to use it now in an actual formula from an, um, a conditional formatting. And the indirect takes this range and converts it to basically a name and allows me to reuse that. It doesn't really change the output of the formula, but it will when we now add this to our actual conditional format, okay? So what I'm going to do now is Sorry, one last thing that I gotta make sure that I do is actually put this whole thing in quotations. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this down one more time to make sure that it's working. So you can see it's just flipped our trues and our falses. Okay, so it's false when these things don't match and it's true when one of them is true. Okay, so I'm gonna take this whole formula here and just copy it. And now I'm going to take this whole um, column and go to format, conditional formatting. And I'm gonna do this formula from A2 all the way down to A1000, enter the custom formula and just paste that formula in there. And I'm just gonna choose that red color. And you can see that because we've added that formula, now it actually highlights anything that doesn't match those conditions that we've put together. And when I hit done, it applies to all of these. So if Peter Garcia was spelt wrong, you can see how that works, Carl Hughes, etc. So as these um, values are spelled wrong, it will automatically highlight to see if there are any errors. So again, to walk you through how that works, we just highlight the column format, conditional formatting, and then the range we want is A2 all the way down because we don't want to include the title and then what we want is a custom formula that just is that formula that we just built out. So we have the and if error match. So is there an error in the match um, of trying to find that in the range? And if there is, give that a value of zero and the cell value does not equal blank. So there you go. That's how you just create a quick and easy um, check to see if the values that you have um, don't match um, a master data set and that will allow you to keep your data a little bit more clean and make it a little bit more usable. So I hope this trick helps you out and if it does please like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.